Have you ever had a situation in your life that you know you would be so much better off and you'd feel so much better if you learned how to move on and do it quickly? Hey, it's business and life strategist Gary Cox and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you some strategies that will enable you to move on and do it very quickly. And the reason I wanted to get this mastered is because I have been through so much trauma in my life and there were so many things that I needed to let go and move on, but I wasn't sure exactly how to do that, so I came up with some strategies that I think that you will find very, very useful. If you're new to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe below. It certainly would appreciate that. And that way I can get to see more of you. Now, one of the reasons that I needed to figure out ways to move on is if you don't already know, I was born and raised in a cult and I consciously and intentionally made a decision to leave this cult. And when you leave this cult, your so-called friends and family will shun you for the rest of your life. So if you have very, very close friends and family, and you have not experienced something like this, you can only imagine emotionally, it's emotional blackmail, emotionally what it can do for you. Now, you can use these strategies in any area of your life because they are very, very powerful. So let's begin with these strategies. First of all, anytime you come up with some situation in your life that has to, you know, that you need to move on from, you're making a decision, it could be, you know, a divorce, a breakup, it could be a change of a job, you can apply this in any area of your life. I'm just using my uh, cult situation because it's something that I can relate obviously to myself, but you'll be able to understand some of the strategies and the examples I'm using so you can apply it to your personal life. All right, so basically you have two choices. When you're at a point where you have to make some major changes in your life, there's two choices. Number one, this is not rocket science, nothing you probably haven't heard before. You have to either see if you can change it, right? So if I'm leaving this cult and I am making a decision to leave knowing that my family and my so-called friends, they're going to shun me for the rest of my life, can I change that? Well, the answer would be yes. I can only change it if I go back in. Am I willing to do that? No. Can I change them to accept me? The chances and the odds of that happening are slim to none. So I'm faced with, can I change it? So the answer right now would be no. The next step, this is the big step now. Now, if you can change it, then you go and do the strategies and the necessary moves to do whatever it takes to change it. Certain things happen to you in your life. You have a, a major trauma. Um, I, I know of one girl that I follow, she had an accident of some kind, I think when she was 15 or 17, left her a quadriplegic. She cannot change that. So can she change it? No. So what's the next thing that we have to do when we make these decisions or things like this happen to us? We must now, here's the challenging part, accept it. Okay, but here's the problem. If we know we can't change it, the next move is to accept it. There is a bridge or a gap of getting to the point where you figure out, okay, what does this really mean? So you have to define, you have to define, this is so important, this is the key to moving on. You must define what it means to accept. Because if you don't have it defined, you don't have a measuring rod. You don't have a baseline, something to look at to figure out, have I accepted or not? So if you define accept, I'll give you an example for my situation. If I define accept leaving the cult and leaving my family, accepting it means I'm not going to cry about it Oh my goodness, look what I've done. It's just so painful, it's so difficult. And trust me, the rippling effect is crazy. You've had your family all your life and all of a sudden in one decision, boom, they're gone. So now I need to know what accept means because this is my goal. There's something before accept if you haven't got to the point of getting to where you've accepted your decision. It's accepting accepting. So maybe you think you've accepted, but what you're really doing, you're right now maybe in the, 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 tri the, 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 the trial, if you will, or the trail, I should say, the trail of accepting. You want to get to accepted. So here's what I mean. 
This major decision in my life, if I accepted it, that means I'm not going to cry and whine about it. I'm not going to have negative emotions about it. Does that mean I, I, I should never have negative emotions? What it means if I do, if I'm constantly missing my family, that means I'm still in the accepting mode. Accepted means I'm not going to lose sleep over this anymore. I've accepted my decision. So if you're at the point where you've made, hey, I can't do the change, but I'm going to accept, where are you? Have you accepted or are you accepting? If you're accepting, that means you're still living back there a little bit. That's okay because at least you've made one of these decisions. So now you're on the trail to getting to the point where you have accepted. The only way to know that you've accepted something is to define it. So let's go through um, a breakup. You know, uh, a girl breaks up with her boyfriend for whatever reason. Uh, maybe he's uh, cheating on her or maybe she just feels that this is just not the man for me. She was in love with him. They've dated for some time, but she has decided he is not going to change. She doesn't uh, want to make any more changes, so she's going to break up. Now, how have you accepted it? To show that you've accepted it. Now, my definition doesn't mean that's going to be her definition of accepted, but I'm going to raise the standards of what it means to accept very, very high so I know when I'm there, I'm not just accepting, but I have accepted. So it might go like this. Maybe I'm not going to keep calling him. That would be one. And I'm just making different things up because every situation is different. This is where you have to be really skilled, if you will, of defining what it means to accept. It could be, I'm not going to keep um, talking to my friends about him. I mean, stop and think about something that you tried to accept years ago. And while you're in that period of time of accepting, you're crying or constantly talking about it or complaining or drinking or whatever it is. But now you look back five, 10 years later, you know you've accepted it because you never even talk about it anymore. That is the difference between accepting and accepted. So identify clearly, write it down, make a list. To, to show that I've accepted this situation, it would mean number one, uh, no crying. And I'm not saying crying is wrong. Just understand this in a context. Number two, uh, let's see, we're going to quit talking about it so much. You can tell people haven't accepted certain things because they're constantly posting their garbage on social media. That shows that they have not accepted. Maybe they're in the accepting process of the trail, but they have not accepted. Uh, then you can go to number three. Maybe there's certain behaviors that you have that you're showing that you really haven't truly accepted it yet. You would write what the change of that behavior would be. All right, there you have it. Just checking my time here. I don't want to take you too long. So these are the things that I go through. And if you want to really learn to move on quickly, very fast, get to the understanding and a definition of what it means to be uh, accept it in your situation that you accepted it, figure out exactly what that is. And this is your goal. All right. So as you get to this goal of you have a hundred percent accepted along the way, if you're not doing well yet, you're just accepting, but it's better than living in the past and just going in a, in a hamster's wheel. All right. So there you have it in a nutshell, do your very best to identify what it means for you to have accepted the situation. And this is hard to do sometimes when you're still emotionally involved. So if you want to move on quickly, if you truly want to move on quickly, fresh in an emotional situation that you have just left or that has happened to you, try to write down, okay, to show that I've accepted this, here is the goals that I need to attain to. One, two, three, four, and five. And then this will be your measuring rod to see how well you're getting there. Are you still accepting it by showing that you're not able to do some of this? And are you improving to get to the point where you knock this out of the park? There you have it. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Would love to see your comments below and also please subscribe if you don't mind. I'd love to see more of you between now and the next time we get the chat. You know what to do. And if you don't, you do now. Don't let others rent space in your head. Crush it, accept or change, and have an awesome day.